Hi everybody, as I'm making progress on my learning for machine knitting, I made some socks for my wife. Overall, I'm real happy with the result. The socks look good and I only lost a few stitches in the process. Doing fisherman rib for the sock was not really a good idea. Actually, it's stupid because it's larger than the diameter of the sock. But the technology for the heels was great because it doesn't leave any holes. Doing asynchronous toes was kind of funny, because now she has a left and a right sock. So I measured some socks of my wife and came up with this plan. So if I did my spots right and I measured right, I need a total of 60 stitches, 30 on each side. After the fisherman rib was completed, I did a regular one one rib, just one row. And then I transferred the stitches over. I did find out, however, that it's more practical to first transfer the partial comb. And once the partial comb has been transferred over, then transfer the, the full comb. Because this way the needles don't get in your way. I also learned that when transferring a partial comb, don't do it like I did with the open needles on the inside because you can't flip it over. So I had to put my stitches back and do it the right way. So I'm ready now to do round knitting. I set my counter to zero and the carriage to round knitting with stitch size 6. I forgot to record it but the front side look great. Now let's try the back side. And easy. I think that also worked. Oh, I forgot to deactivate some needles. So I have to undo the back side and redo it again. Never mind, I do that off camera. So I undid the one row. I need to change the row counter one back. Uh, I also didn't have enough weight in the middle, I added that weight in the middle. Uh, let's give it another try. Uh, yarn tensioner is ten tension enough. And try again. This time I would say it worked. Let me do the front rotor again. Oops, something went wrong. The front carriage was not really connected to the front bed. So let's try again. Ooh, nice. And back one more time. Works. Works like a charm. I'm doing the other rows offline. So I needed 80 rows or 40 rounds. That's what I wanted. This was everything pretty eventless. I am now need to do the heels. I do the heels on the front bed and I need to adjust the machine, the front bed onto regular stitching and the back bed to Nothing. So for the heels I'm deactivating one needle every row, like I would normally start with heels. And then <clears throat> I saw a website in, in Germany that suggested to not get holes into in the heels, move the yarn behind that second needle and then deactivate the third needle. Same on that side, move the yarn behind that second needle, then deactivate the third needle. and so on. But since I want to do something fancy, I'm also gonna try to change colors now. 
So now I reduce enough. I may be a little uneven, but I care less at the moment. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven needles in the middle. That's good. And now it's time to add more needles back to work. That website, Wolpalast, suggests to now <coughs> move the yarn behind the last needle and then reactivate two needles on the opposite side. Let's give it a try. Okay, no stitches dropped. It then says re-deactivate one of the needles and activate two needles over there. So I'm back to the point where I change colors. So I think I'm gonna abandon the blue now and keep working with the gray. Here is the movement again with the activation and deactivation of the needles. So I activate to away from the carriage, deactivate on next to the carriage and keep doing so until all needles are activated. So now we should be able to do regular round knitting again. I'm setting the counter to zero. And let's give it a shot. That looked good. Way back. That looked good. So far I have done 110 movements, uh, which means 55 rows. I need to get to 128 and then I can start reducing. It was pretty eventless so far, but I'm gonna change to the darker color now. So the new color is loaded. Let's give it a shot. I think it looks good. So I've made my 128 movements, uh, meaning I have 64 rows. Everything went pretty eventless, uh, other than rehanging weights every 10 rows or so. Now it's time to reduce for the toes. So I'm doing a right sock, which means at this time I'm only reducing at the right side. So taking the stitches, one to the left. Deactivate that. The same on the back bed. Taking stitches one to the left. I need help. Okay. Deactivate the other needle. And now I'm reading knitting two rows. One row. Two rows. And the same again. So by now I reduced 10 stitches on the right side. First I reduced 4 stitches every other row and then 6 stitches every row. It's now time to reduce the stitches on both sides. So now I am left with 12 needles in the middle and it's time to cast off. Take that one stitch. Pull it over to the other. Take it behind the latch. 
and take the yarn through and so on so done here are the socks fisherman rib toes baby merino wool I don't think there is any holes there is nothing significant I did drop two stitches in the course of making the sock my wife taught me how to fix those and repair them so I had to repair three stitches and I hope I'm not finding more some of the stuff you see is from the weights so after washing them a little bit they should be cool I like them my first real sock